Welcome to MWC Digest. We are here in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress 2024. Here are the main headlines. Deutsche Telekom are one of the first companies to announce AI-powered smartphones. Big names across tech and telco, including Microsoft, NVIDIA and Nokia, have signed up as founding members of the AI RAN Alliance. And a flying car has landed at MWC. More on that later this week. Here in the halls of MWC, sustainability is on many minds. There's recognition the industry needs to reduce its carbon footprint, while also helping to develop the technology that can lessen all of our impacts on the planet. An example of why sustainability is so important is right here in Barcelona. Currently, Catalonia is in drought conditions. Six million people are living under restrictions. Daily water is limited. Fountains are dry. Parks are unwatered. Showers at beaches like this one are no longer being used and farmers can no longer irrigate their crops. So how can the telecoms industry help solve the climate problem? For Nokia's part, a significant announcement. They're bringing forward their commitment to net zero greenhouse gas emissions from 2050 to 2040. I met up with Subo Mukherjee, Nokia's global head of sustainability, to find out why. Sustainability is at the core of Nokia's purpose. It is a business imperative, it's a technology imperative, and it's an imperative for our shareholders, customers, and our employees. The biggest thing on our path to net zero is the work on product energy efficiency. This constitutes over 95% of Nokia's greenhouse gas emission. Nokia has been on the journey towards innovation in silicon software and systems research on energy efficiency products across its entire portfolio of radio, fixed, IP, optical, and, and applications. And this is a journey we are really doubling down on. We have driven our 5G massive MIMO uh, uh, base station uh, power energy efficiency by 50% from our 2019 baseline already uh, by last year. We have reduced new Quillian chipset that reduces the energy consumption by 60% uh, on the fixed side. We have done similar things with PSC6 optical chipset as well as the FP5 on IP. This work you can expect to accelerate in years to come. So that's the, the biggest thing that you're doing. What else are you up to? There's several levers we believe Nokia needs to work together with its ecosystem to drive towards net zero. Take the example of electrification. We are really committed to renewable energy in our electricity uh, consumption. We are committed to reach 100% renewable energy by 2025 in our own operations across the world. We are also working with our customers in their own renewable energy transformation. Take the second example of circularity. We are really committed to using recycled materials in our products and services, as well as in the packaging and, and driving towards usage of non-virgin materials in all our products. Take the other example of working with our suppliers. We are committed towards multimodal transportation. We are committed to working with our final assembly suppliers as well as logistic suppliers to drive decarbonization in their own operations, which will help the whole uh, supply chain. Of course, this isn't just about Nokia. This is about the entire industry reducing their carbon footprint. Seizo Ono is from the International Telecommunication Union. He says the telco industry needs to address some key points. The industry needs to decouple the data growth from emission. It needs to achieve optimal energy efficiency. It needs to demonstrate the principle of circular economy. And most importantly, Innovation must be global in scale. Industry players, uh, industry players need to work together to achieve global impact. But what can Nokia do to help solve the climate challenge? At Nokia, we believe there is no green without digital. We believe that the technology we make and, and collaborate with our customers uh, to drive every day in the ICT net industry has two types of impact. One, what we call as the, our footprint impact, Nokia is, of course, working hard to implement technologies in its own operations to reduce its environmental footprint. But what's significant is the handprint impact, the handprint of our technology on a wide range of industries. We are here in Barcelona. The sand is receding faster than ever before. It's happening all around us. 
across the world we can we can see the impact of climate change 2023 has been the, the warmest year in, in record so far we believe that digital technology is working towards faster driving towards smart cities iot's uh, and several other digitalization that helps in the transportation sectors in the building sector in cities are going to be significantly impactful in driving decarbonization in, in the cities. Tech energy sector, digital uh, industry and the technologies that Nokia produces has significant impact in faster decarbonization of the energy sector. Energy sector today constitutes of close to 30% of global emission. But can you do it all yourself? No. I think like any other industry player, we need to work very collaboratively with our partners as well as customers. Take the example of one of our customers, Orudu, a very large telco in Middle East Africa. We are signing a memorandum of understanding at Mobile World Congress with Orudu to explore new areas of sustainability in the area of circularity, product energy efficiency, as well as bridging digital divide. Such partnerships and many more to come from Nokia's side are the ways by which we explore areas which we are not driving today and we know more how to drive in the future. Of course, technology alone won't have all the solutions, but as we've heard, it could play a critical part. Yeah.